Hello and welcome to my guide on how to perform gate clip as well as back in time. I considered making smaller guides for the two individually, but felt that since they go together so well and are both relatively simple to perform, I figured why not just do them both at the same time. So let's get started. Gate clip is a trick where we use this rock to clip us into the gate so that we can roll in such a way where we bonk off of the gate to put us on the bridge earlier than normal. The reason this bridge is important is because we need it to be able to perform back in time. Put simply, back in time is a trick where we perform a console reset on a specific frame so that we void at the same time as the reset takes place. Back in time allows us to access save file zero, which is used on the title screen. Saving over this file will set the game state to a specific point that we will use to gain items such as the sword, shield, and hero's clothes in a way that isn't intended. The first thing you're going to want to do is grab this rock and start walking towards the gate. Once you get to the gate, you're going to want to line yourself up so that Link's ear is just to the right of one of these little flowers. I'm going to zoom in to make it easier to see. Next, we're going to set the rock down up against the gate and then align ourselves at about 110 degrees to the rock. The angle should look something like this. Once you're in position, you're going to want to do a side hop into the gate. From here, you're going to want to input a roll and then move the joystick from up to upright. This should cause you to bonk into the gate, pushing you back onto the bridge. The way the gates swing in Twilight Princess is inconsistent, so sometimes you'll find yourself doing this exactly the same, but popping up on the other side. If that happens, don't worry, just set it up again and start from scratch. Next, you're going to want to make your way over to the end of the bridge, just past this rope here. Target and slowly walk to the left so that you can fall and grab the edge. From here, we're going to try and perform back in time. The goal here is to try and input D-pad right and A on the same frame. If successful, you should see Link just barely under the bridge like so. From here, you're going to press B once to zoom out the map, and then you're going to prepare to do the inputs for the console reset. The command for a console reset is holding B, X, and start. Since hitting the B button here will cause us to close the map and start falling again, we're going to want to make sure we hit that last. If successful, we should find ourselves waking up on the Elden Bridge. The game at this point will still think that we're on the title screen, so we're going to need to void one more time to be able to save. I also wanted to give a quick rundown on the faster method of doing this trick. Once you're on the bridge past the gate, you're going to want to angle yourself something like this so that you can side hop off of the bridge. The goal here is to open the item wheel on a specific frame so that you can then input the console reset. You're going to want to pay attention to Link's feet to tell whether or not you got the right frame. Here is what it looks like before the item wheel and after the item wheel. Lastly, I want to show what it looks like to get the early frame. Early frame is something that's easy to spot, but hard to actually deal with. If you get the early frame, Link's feet are going to be really close together like this. Now we're going to want to input the reset slightly different than normal, as we're going to want X to be the last button and hit it slightly delayed after the B button. It should look something like this. Thank you for watching my guide on how to do back in time and gate clip. If you want to take a look at any of my other guides or a stream highlight video, you can click on either of these cards here. Or if you have any other questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments or on my stream and I am more than happy to help. I do plan on making more guides for this game and if you want to see when they go up, why don't you uh, subscribe.